Hey guys, Amy here. Um, so with this edition of Cricut Design Space tutorial section, we are going to be talking about how to find fonts to use within Cricut Design Space. So if you're in Cricut Design Space, I showed you in the last video how to use text and where to find all your fonts. And we talked about that you have, if you have Cricut Access, you'll have available a whole bunch of Cricut fonts for you to use in here. And then you also have, you'll always have some installed on your computer just when you get them, but there's not a lot of cute ones. And so I know a lot of us like to find fonts and bring them in to use in designing in Cricut Design Space. So I'm gonna show you a couple places that I love to get fonts and how to upload them. Okay, so if I go back to just Google, um, the two probably top ones that I like to find are devont.com up here and then also 1001 fonts. They have a ton of free fonts, but they're just for personal use. So that means if you're making things for yourself, if you're making stuff for your kids, your family, things like that. But if you want to sell things or sell designs or anything that you're making money off of, you want to make sure you use commercial use fonts. And I will show you where I find those. But in, say in Defont, if we come in, they obviously have a, tons of different ones, and you can filter them over here. You know, distorted, horror, comic. You can look through all these and script, handwritten things like that. You can also search if you're searching for a certain type, different holidays. So say if we put in Valentine, it'll come in with a bunch. Oh, so cute, right? <laughs> These are so fun um, to use. So say we want this one, this romantic Austin here. All you need to do is click on the download and this will download it onto your device, your computer. And when it pops up, you don't need to extract it or anything like that. All you want to do is find, it will either say open type font or true type font. Um, it doesn't really matter which one you pick. Um, sometimes if they're commercial use, they will have more extras and things like that with one of them. But all you need to do is double click on it and it comes up like this. And then you click install. And just like that, it is on my computer ready to use. Okay, so you'll see it always says the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And that is just so it uses every letter of the alphabet. But if you want to see what things look like, you can always type it into the preview. Say we're going to say like, hello. And so then all of them will come up like that. So you can kind of see what they look like. Okay. And almost all of them will have that preview. You have the one here. And they pretty much all do the same. They all have the download there. And then you just install them like I showed you. Okay, so a few ones that you can find that are for commu commercial use. So if you're going to sell products that you make or design files to sell, things like that. One of my favorites is Creative Fabrica, and I will link all these below. And this has a, I have a link that you can get um, a free month trial if you want. And then it's like $9 a month, I believe, something like that. But this has a tons of fonts in it. And you can always sign up for their emails and they give and they have freebies like every day and they come with commercial use fonts. So that's why I have tons of them. And you can also just come in and go into the freebie section and go into free fonts. And they have a ton of them. And um, we'll see if you click on them, it will come up and it will say what's allowed. This one has commercial use allowed. And again, we're just gonna download it and it will do the same thing. It will pop up and I'll just double click and install. And that's on my computer. So now that I make designs, um, I only do commercial use fonts. So I know, so I don't have to separate them on my computer and things like that. There's enough I can find that I love or I buy when they're on dollar special, things like that. So a few of my favorite ones that I know people ask me about, and I'll link again these below. Samantha Upright is a great one because it has so many different glyphs and extras that you can use to make 
all sorts of fun. And I will link a video below. I have a whole video on using Samantha and how to use all these extra um, glyphs and things that it has just to make just a really cool style. So this one I love. Amistry Font is also another one. And fontbundles.net is another great place that you can get commercial use fonts. And this is one I have. I think I got it on a special at one point or in a bundle. But you can see that um, you can find discounts and and buy these to use for commercial use. Um, the other one I love, I think you can get on, I mean, you can always Google it. Magnolia Sky is another one that I love. And you can get it off to font for personal use. Um, and you'll see here it says this is for personal use. So if you want to buy it, you have the option of buying a license here or finding it on a site that you get a license. Okay, so that's how you find fonts um, and use them. So then when we go back into Cricut Design Space, so if I've already had this open and I go in to try to find, let's see, what did I download? Loving. It won't be in here. You actually need to restart Cricut Design Space and open it back up or you can just restart it um, instead of quitting out of it and going back into a new project and text. And now if I put hello, then you can just, hmm, what was the name of the one I just did? Well, let's see, that's the other thing. I forget as soon as I do it, right? So if I go into my downloads, oh, I see what I did. Okay, so right here, I fell for it too. Right here, it's just on Cricut. So when I want to find it, I'm going to do go to system. And you see there, it comes up with loving. They used to have it that you'd have both of them, but they um, recently they've separated this. So if you don't find it, make sure you're on your system. And then you'll see that since I just uploaded it, it comes up with how it looks. So I'm going to click on that, and there it is comes right up to use. I showed you in the last video when you're using the script font, you wanna make sure that you weld this. So you can find over here and combine. You can also right click on here and go to combine right here. So the weld um, makes it one continuous cut so you don't have these cut, because right now this would cut right here. It would cut in between every letter and you don't want that when you're making something. So you always go in to combine and then weld. And it welds those, just like soldering something together right there. Okay, so that is how you find other fonts and then upload them to use within Cricut Design Space. So it's based on your computer. So if you go into like your iPad or something different and or a different computer and try to come in and use them, it's going to say that it, your computer doesn't have it because it's based on your computer. It's not um, design space itself. So just be careful of that when you go to try to open something else up and you're like, where is that font? It was because it was downloaded onto your system in a different, on a different um, computer. Okay, so I hope that helped on where to find some other cool fonts to use that you can use for free so you don't have to, you don't want to pay for Cricut Access. Um, but like I said, if you have Cricut Access, there's tons of fonts to use in here. Sometimes it's hard to figure out which ones to use. I think that's always what takes the longest in projects is the fonts. Okay, so if you have any questions, let me know and happy crafting.